What's up, ballers? We are back with some more NBA Live Mobile, and today we've got a new card that is one of the most deadly centers in the game. This guy's stats are absolutely ridiculous. This is true for both Rudy Gobert, who's a 99, and Shaq, who's a 97 center for the defensive lineup. This Kelly Olynyk card beats them in every stat except for defense and blows them out of the water. 11 better speed. 24 better dribbling, 40 better three-pointer, three better shooting. He's only got four worse defense, and he's got 21 better passing. This this card is ridiculous. Like you, There's no card, or at least no center in the game that even compares to his stats. So I'm excited to do some gameplay with him. Hopefully he plays as good as his stats say that he will. You know that it's usually harder to play with a center, but based off those stats, I think he can do just about anything. So we'll have to see. If you guys are in need of any cheap, reliable NBA Live mobile coins, make sure to check out my sponsor. Their link is down in the description. And if you use the code Bobby, you can get a discount. So we're going to go to him in the post first play of the game. Let's see. Back him down. And, all right, a glitch there. Our shot bar froze, but he knocks down the bank shot nice and easy right off the bat. Let's see if we can use Westbrook to get the steal from Lillard or get a double team on the sideline. Oh, all right, let's, oh, my gosh, and he's got a 99 block rating. That is insane. How is this card a, oh, my, oh, my gosh. How is this card only a 94? Like, I don't understand how his stats can be that good, and yet he can do all of this. 99 block rating, just knocked down a three ball. He's got a 95 three-pointer. Now, given some of that is because of boost from Russell Westbrook, we do get out-rebounded right there by Rudy Gobert. Got to expect that he's going to have some weak part to his game. So more than likely, that's going to be one of his few weaknesses is that he's not an amazing rebounder. But look at this ball hand. Oh, my. Of course, we get blocked. Our seven-footer gets blocked on the way to the basket. Uh, so that that's whatever. But really, with the exception of rebounding, and I haven't even looked at his rebounding hidden stats and right now, this is just Rudy Gobert putting in work on our entire team. We're going to go back to Kelly Olenek. We know he's got a reliable three ball, so we might actually stay outside a little bit more. Rudy Gobert is not going to be able to guard us well. So we're going to pull up again, plus 10, and he gets it to go again. Lights out from three. He's got that 95 three-point rating. I haven't looked at his shot streak or any of those other stats as Kevin Durant is going to get his free three-pointer. Nothing that we can do about get, about that, but oh my gosh. How is this card only a 94? And he's open again, plus 10. He gets it to go. Only shot missed so far was the one that got, we just got absolutely fouled. Still waiting for them to put foul calls in the game. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm going to be doing a, oh my gosh, we get Ali Youp done by Tracy McGrady. If you got any suggestions for things you want to see fixed in the game, comment those down below. I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. Um, getting a little bit, what the, okay, I have no idea, did we get blocked? I'm really confused about what just happened. Um, <laughs> okay, so Kevin Durant's probably going to miss right there, pretty heavily contested. Okay, so three three-pointers, I think, and one two-pointer. So honestly, not that great of gameplay. I did not do him justice by kind of going in the post more than I needed to. Honestly, post-gameplay is super inefficient in this game, which is another thing I'm going to be talking about in that video. But a lot of different things, some stuff about the AI. Uh, I actually have proof that whenever you turn on autoplay, stats no longer matter in the game. So I'll have a I'll have a video out to you guys on that as well. Actually, pretty interesting. But tested it out a few times and proved my hypothesis. So this will be a real challenge. Kelly Olenek up against 99 Shaq. So Shaq does have better dribbling, shooting, and defense. But we've still got the advantage in speed, three-pointer, and passing. So we'll see what we can do. Definitely not going to go into the post at all. Because I'm sure that Shaq would dominate Kelly Olenek. Regardless of how good his stats are, just the way that they're going to build a 99 overall Shaq is going to be completely dominant. So here we go. Going to win this jump ball against Shaq. Yes, sir. And we'll give it to Olenek. Thing is, Shaq's not going to be able to guard us. Oh, we're way too far outside. Oh, my gosh. Way too far outside. 
with the hand in his face, still knocked it down. This dude is lights out from three. Like, I don't... You guys have got to get this card. I'm pretty sure I got this card for like 850k. So it's super cheap and better than the, the majority of the centers in the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. Terrible defense right there. And you see the, uh, the bad rebounding coming into play again. But we do get the ball off of that, or, uh, off that block. Another thing they need to fix, what, there's a lot of times where you will, uh, oh my gosh, we just broke somebody's ankles and we're wide open from three again. Too easy. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. We're going to go for like 24 points this quarter. Just watch. Just watch. We are going to go, assuming that we can like actually get them to, oh yes. Oh, give it to Kelly. Pulling up plus 10. Oh my gosh. He is unstoppable. I think... Have we missed a three yet? I can't remember. I'm, I'm not going to jinx on it. Knock on wood. But uh, we are lights out from three, right? Oh, we should have had that steal. Steve Nash wide open. All right, guys, just do something with the ball. I don't care if you score. I just want to get the ball back. And Shaq shooting the fadeaway. Going to miss that one. We'll give it back to Kelly. And for some reason, Shaq is not playing like any perimeter defense. We don't even have Shaq guarding us. It looks like Larry Bird, I think. Pretty heavy defense. Oh, my gosh. This card does not miss. Like, this is insane. I've never seen a card play like this. Heavily contested three-pointers, and he's not missing a thing. And he's a center. Like, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. We get oh, almost dunked on by Steve Nash right there. We got Kelly Olenek trailing up the court, and we're pulling up again with a hand in his face. Okay, so we do finally miss. That wasn't a great shot. Honestly, I was kind of heat-checking him because... I was thinking there might be like some sort of glitch in the game or something where it's impossible for Kelly Olenek to miss threes. So disproving that hypothesis, but absolutely still killing it. And we force them out of bounds right there. So we should be able to get one more shot up before the end of the game. We'll find Kelly over on the side. Let's see, get some space. Somebody sent me a screen. Westbrook, give me that space. Oh, yes, nobody guarding us. Oh, my gosh, that should have been in. Steve Nash not even facing the right direction, but we do miss those last two threes. Didn't get quite as many points. I got to do one more quarter because I know we can get at least 15 points. 12 to 0, shutting them down right now. And let's see, who are we going to go up against? So we got another... You know I like going up against those shooting lineups because they're usually pretty weak defensively. Oh, and, oh my gosh, this is about to be barbecue chicken going up against a 90 overall Yao Ming. Yao Ming's probably going to have the advantage in rebounding and height, and that will be it. We're going to absolutely shred him right now. So we win this jump ball, give it to Kelly. Let's see, who's guarding him? Uh, looks like, is that LeBron guarding us? Plus 10, and that was not a good first shot. Might go inside a little bit because his shot streak is probably low right now because of my shit. Terrible shot choice. Can't speak right now. Kevin Durant's going to miss that one. And we, okay, so he can get boards. Let's see if we can get to the basket with him. One spin move and the layup right there, putting in work once again. I was honestly thinking he was going to get blocked since we are going up against a guy that is seven foot six, but I think his overall and his skill increase was enough to make it past that 90. Oh, yes. Give me that steal. Oh, give it. No. Give it to Kelly. Oh, give him one spin move. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Put him on a poster. Let's go. Not even fair. Give him that hook move. That is illegal in the NBA, but for some reason, it is completely legal in NBA Live Mobile. That being said, NBA Live Mobile doesn't really follow any NBA rules anyway. So, Kelly Olenek, once again, we're not going for points right now. We're just going for bucket after bucket after bucket. And honestly, we've still got plenty of time to hit three more threes, so we could still hit that 15-point mark. Oh, my gosh. Steals for days right now. Oh, give me some... Oh, pretty heavily contested. That was... Okay. That, that wasn't a missed open look. I don't know why it said missed open look. That was, like, super heavily guarded. I started to shoot, and as I started to shoot, a guy ran up and guarded me. But we're going to get this... What? How the heck did he make that? All right, throwing it back up to Kelly again, and <laughs> absolutely posterizing. We're not even knocking down our threes, and he is still destroying this team. This, just like his speed and his three-pointer combined just make it unfair how good he is. 
this may be, this is definitely my favorite center to play with in the game, maybe one of my new favorite cards, which is saying something considering I, I don't really like Kelly Olenek in real life at all. So we're gonna, oh, all right, we're running low on, oh my gosh. The lag from the battery thing <laughs> made me turn it over. We gotta get this ball back one more time. We cannot finish with a tie game. Oh my gosh, all right, throw it up. Throw it, throw the ball in. All right, we're giving it to Kelly. Oh, out on the perimeter, somebody give me a screen. I need some space. All right, we're not gonna get any space, but oh, that, no, it's too far to the right. Oh my, oh wait, no, oh my gosh. All right, terrible final quarter. I did not hit a single three. LeBron was guarding us for some reason the entire quarter, which doesn't make any sense. LeBron is a small forward and Kelly Olenek is our center. So I'm not sure how that happened, but anyway, definitely pick up that card if you can. That's going to be about it for this episode, so drop a like if you guys enjoyed. We're going to go for 300 likes on this video, and I will see you guys next time.